Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will learn about navigation in Jetpack Compose. So if you are an Android developer, you might have used uh, start activity. So you might have used two activities, moving from one activity to another activity. But now it's about Jetpack Compose and uh, how we can navigate in Jetpack Compose. It's about that. So let's continue with that. Suppose you have two screens and you want to navigate between them. So we need to use uh, navigation compose for that. I have created a simple project for you and you need to add this library navigation compact compose. So this library provides navigation controller there navigation component, right? Navigation compose separate part is this separate part for you it for jetpack compose. So let's continue with this. So first part of that is using nav host so and before that we need nav controller here and we want to remember it right this is the recommended way of using nav controller and then we need to pass nav controller here inside the nav host and we can pass start destination i imported the wrong one let's correct it so yeah this one so start destination is uh, the first destination for the navigation in your app let's say we pass it as home and inside this we will create composable composable method will be use composable this is an extension function actually you can see so nav graph builder nav graph builder is what is used for building the graph for all the destinations each destination have one root right so destination is identified by its root so let's say you have two screens uh, first one is home and let's assume inside the home we take just simple text here or yeah we can take it and then let's say we take a button to move from this screen to another screen right and let's say go to screen to right let's align it in the center vertical arrangement arrangement dot center horizontal caps alignment alignment dot center horizontal right and let's say so basically main part is nav remember nav controller this is for uh, navigation stack this will control navigation stack and second one is nav host this uh, links the nav controller with the nav graph so nav graph is like uh, a graph which maintains all the composables like all the destinations which are in, in our app right so let's add one more let's say it's uh, just for example just let's assume it's dashboard right or we can just for example we can assume first screen is login screen right and go to screen 2 so just for example we will pick up home here right similarly it's on home it's on login right uh, and one more thing is from here we need to move it back to oh sorry we need to navigate to second screen right 
for that we will use navigcontroller dot navigate so here we will pass the path root so let's say we want to navigate to home so we will pass home here right on clicking this we will go to this screen and from this screen let's say we need to go back right so we will use nav controller dot pop we will pop from the back stack here it it will be pushing and navigating here it will be popping so you might have heard about the stack uh, in data structure so it's it's internally using that thing all the logic is implemented according to that so you can think of it but if you go in depth you will find many things there but it's kind of that similar to that in if, if you just outer overview of this so it is similar to the stack pushing and popping that kind of thing right so let's run it first and then check it Default scripting plugin is disabled. So we were running the grab build mistake. So let's run it and it's not aligned in the center. Let's remove this part. Right, let's run it. Actually, we have not specified the modifier here. If we specify modifier dot fill max size, so it will take full screen. You can see, yeah, uh, that is also the cool feature in uh, latest version. If you are using Jetpack Compose, so live editing is there for the compose. So you don't need to rerun your app every time. So if you make any changes, they will automatically reflect here, right? So let's add this modifier here as well. And let's just reformat the code, right? So let's say we want to go to screen two, right? It's not going, so let's check it. Actually, it's going but yeah my bad I didn't change the content so if you look at it's home here so here we are navigating well so let's just for simplicity add here go back right and it will go back right so if you see now we are on the home and now we are on the login let's so this is if you let's rerun it if you will see yeah so it's login screen you can see login here then let's go to screen 2 now it's home screen and now we have back button if you want to go back we can use go back now it's on home screen so yeah this is about uh, how we can navigate and one more thing is we can pass arguments as well so how we can pass we can specify here like for example user id suppose we want to pass multiple arguments as well right so these are the required arguments this way is the required way right if we will not pass these arguments like this then it will not work it will fail right so we need to pass if we have specified two arguments we need to pass both here so let's now pick up them here how we can pick up them so let's just for simplicity name it back stack entry right and user id is back stack entry dot arguments dot get string by default each type is of string but we can change their types as well i will cover that one as well so if you see 
now we can pick them and we can print them here you can see user id 1 to 3 id equal to 1 so this is working fine but let's say now if we just want to pass optional arguments not the required but they are optional user might pass them or not right for that we need to pass like this right arguments this is the name of the argument this is also the name of the argument so let's say we have passed this and but this way just for example let's take it home to or we can take it just for example like account right account remove it for simplicity let's comment it and just go to account suppose we are not passing any argument there right but here we need one thing that we have to supply here first one is the root second one is the arguments so we can pass named arguments here using the nav argument right so this is the name of the argument and we need to specify its default value so that will be used if we have not passed anything there right so let's run it if you say user id is one and let's say we haven't passed any user id from here you can see right so just for example let's assume if we have some optional parameters so we can use this way otherwise we can go on with the required ones this one right so let's say uh, now let's try to pass the argument let's say we have passed the idea three now it will print three so if you are going to next screen it's typing a uh, printing user idea three you can see default is one but it's using this one but if you don't pass this then it was using the default one right cool so there are two ways we can pass arguments these are the optional and these are the required right so it depends upon our choice according to scenario we can use uh, any one of them so this one uh, this one is about the navigation this is simple navigation how we can do simple navigation and in the coming videos i will be covering so i will create separate videos for the navigation in detail i will be covering it in detail in the coming video we will cover deep links as well nested navigation as well how we can use in bottom uh, bar how we can use navigation in bottom bar that will also be covered here so stay tuned for that so till then bye bye take care i hope you guys have liked the video if you like the video you can share it to make it reach to more people and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel if you want to learn about kotlin jetpack compose and android development so in the future we will be covering uh, compose multi-platform as well so till then bye bye take care have a good day keep coding Thank you.